guys, this brush is an absolute beast. Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to review the Master Aircraft SG A182 Airbrush. Master Aircraft did supply this airbrush for a review for me, so I would just like to thank them for that. So this is what comes in the box, a uh, tube type of a um, adapter that we won't be using. I like to put the quick adapter on, a little pipette, which is handy. A universal wrench, that's for the nozzle, the other side is not used. Then we have our standard little paint bottle. And finally the airbrush. Now just on first impression, it's quite a hefty little thing. The finish is very standard uh, for a Chinese brush. Trigger feels nice and smooth. But I have been using this brush for a while just so that I can do this review. And I might have lubricated the brush. I cannot actually remember. I have quite a few brushes here, but initially it feels nice. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly bigger compared to a standard airbrush, the 180. In fact, the 180 is 11 millimeters in diameter, and this one is 12. It's also a little bit longer. The 180 airbrush weighs around 110 grams with the cup, and the 182 with bottle weighs in at 160. Gram. So there's quite a difference between the two. As you can see, it's just a, that fraction chunkier than the uh, 180, but I like them like that. I wish uh, all airbrushes were like that. I've got quite big hands, so that 182 fits me perfectly. As in all airbrushes that I review, and before I use them, in fact, I strip them down and I lubricate them just to give them the best chance possible. There's nothing worse than a dry, creaky brush. So here's the air cap. Just the round open type, nothing spectacular, but uh, finished quite nicely. Next we have the nozzle. I like these shaped nozzles, they're nicer to handle than these tiny other ones. Uh, this is the nozzle cap. It'll have, it's got three air holes to blast that air through. And you'll see a little later what, how efficient this airbrush is. Here's the needle, looks very nice actually for a Chinese uh, airbrush. Here's the back lever attached to the standard uh, needle support. This is your paint limiter. Nothing spectacular, but uh, nicely finished. Nice o-ring. Here's the body. And as to be expected from a Chinese brush, I think it's uh, fairly decently finished. Made of brass, nice thick uh, o-ring for the nozzle cap to seal. Yes, as I say, the finish is quite nice. It's got a little engraving on it. That's just some uh, lubrication that's stuck in there. I need to clean this a little bit. As I say, I have been using this brush for some time just so I can give you a decent review. Standard type air valve. Trigger, also quite small. I don't quite like these tiny triggers, but it does the job. And here's the end cap, also with a nice big o-ring, nicely finished anodized silver, so the whole airbrush looks quite nice. And I've put it all back together, I've lubricated it. It also has the paint limiter. As you screw it in, the lever lets less and less paint through. I don't know why you would have it on this type of a brush, but anywho, it's there, it looks nice. Otherwise, very smooth, smooth action, nice trigger. Uh, it compares to all the other brushes that I've had and once you put the bottle on it's uh, quite a hefty brush weighing in at uh, 160 without any paint but uh, it, it feels nice in the hand here I'm just doing an air test you can see the atomization and the blast of material it produces I'm just spraying some uh, distilled water here quickly And 
And although this is not the intended purpose for this airbrush, I believe, uh, even with the air cap on, you can get quite, quite fine details. If this is, don't forget, this is a 0.5 needle. With the air cap off, you can get very small little details. But I believe this airbrush is more for um, blocking in, priming, coloring in big areas. It's not for fine details. Guys, I am actually spraying primer here. I'm not spraying paint. So you will, you will see some blotches and stuff. I haven't reduced this a lot. It's only 50%. It's not reduced enough for painting. That's why you see some intermittent spraying. I'm spraying at uh, 40 PSI here. 35 or 40 PSI. But uh, in general, for coloring in big areas, this brush is absolutely boss. As you can see, you can, if you really want to, excuse my bad spraying technique, but uh, if you really want to get some detail, you can. And don't forget, I'm spraying primer here, not paint or ink. With ink or actual paint, this would be much smoother. Uh, I've got primer in here because I want to just show you what I think the intended purpose of this brush is. I also use this brush for varnishing paintings when I'm done. Absolutely perfect for that. Some shading. I think this is uh, more the intended purpose for this brush, not the fine lines. As you can see, uh, when you pull the trigger back, it really lays down some paint. It's really not shy, this machine. I did also primer a uh, painting panel, and I've reduced my primer to 50-50 with some reducer, which is just distilled water. I've got the trigger full back, and I'm spraying at 40 PSI, 35 to 40 PSI. And the first coat is basically just a dust coat. I don't even let off the trigger, I just hit it one time. After this I come in with my second coat, which is a bit more meticulous. But uh, after the second coat it's completely covered. And basically a quick sand and it's ready to paint. Guys, if you like this no-nonsense kind of review, please hit the like and subscribe so that I can do some more reviews for you. I'd like to thank uh, Master Aircraft for supplying this brush for me to have a play with. It's very nice. It's one of my favorite brushes at the moment. And I've got their whole range. So I really like this brush for coloring in and all sorts of stuff. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again. Oh, yeah.